Okay, so quick little hack here. I had one of these yogurt containers here, you know, just plastic, typical container. So what I did was I cut the rim off. You know, you normally got a rim with a little bit of a lip like that. I saw someone else uh, mention this online. So I tried it out and uh, I made a floating ring, you know, for like kind of around my plants and have a feeding ring in my tank. So this is gonna keep the salvinia and the water lettuce and stuff like that from encroaching. So uh, I'll show you what this looks like in the tank, but I mean, this was real simple to do. I'd recommend a good pair of scissors. I use one of these, you know, kind of the kitchen type scissors and, you know, for cooking and cutting food and stuff like that. These are pretty nice um, because it is kind of tough plastic when you're cutting around there, but I just kind of punctured with a knife and then uh, cut around the top. So I actually did three of these. This is uh, two of them here, but you can see kind of how it's, you know, a little bit beveled there along the lip. So it's pretty cool because that's going to, I think, do a good job in the water. And uh, like I said, keeping the plants away. And uh, that's one problem I have a lot in my 29 gallon. Let me show you. So this light is off right now because uh, I kind of have it two different cycles during the day. But you see all the salvinia. It's all salvinia minima. Um, then I've got kind of the dwarf water lettuce over here. So um, you can see how this is just covering the entire top of the tank. So it's hard for me to feed. You know, part of it is I'm gonna take some of this stuff out um, and I sell some of that and everything. But yeah, basically I'm gonna put one of these rings in here so that I don't have to worry about this anymore. And uh, you can see my better right there. That's one of the guppies. <laughs> but I'll be able to feed this tank a lot easier and uh, yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so I did go back and I did use some sandpaper. Um, you can kind of see how that's frayed a little bit now on the plastic and stuff. And I'll just, you know, make sure that stuff's off. But I did go back with, uh, this is like a coarse sandpaper. This is like a 60, you can see here. So uh, that, that did pretty quick work of it um, around the edges there. I did two of these. It's really soft now. I mean, if I put this around my finger, you know, I can run it here and it's not really sharp at all or anything. It's not going to cut me. So just for uh, some peace of mind with the fish, uh, you kind of know then that it's not going to bother them. You know, I don't think it would have been a big issue anyway. It certainly wasn't sharper than uh, many like aquarium decorations and stuff that you're going to buy anyway, I think. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. I think I'd hit that with, you know, real quick, a couple minutes of using some of the sandpaper. All right, guys, so this is like a temporary... Uh quarantine slash breeding setup for these three females. I got these from somebody with a bunch of males and uh, they're all very pregnant as you can see. So they're in a three and a half gallon here. This is covered with floaters as you can see. And uh, there's the yogurt top. So I think it actually looks pretty decent. You know, if I wanted to, I could clean up a little more around the edge here and stuff, make this even, but Honestly, I really don't think that looks tacky at all or anything. Um, it does a good job. It's keeping that area open. So it's going to make sure that that stuff doesn't kind of, you know, block too much there. The fish have access to the, the surface there. Um, it kind of breaks, you know, any current from the filter right there. You can kind of see, you know, from the front of the tank, you really can't even tell it's there. Um, especially if I like moved it back, you know, and had some floaters around the edge. Here, we'll do a little test to see how it works. Here are some blood worms. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna work well. You know, it's keeping that contained within the ring there. You know, so it's not, you know, fouling up the tank or going all over the place or getting caught in the plants where it's going to rot or, you know, maybe go on the surface of the plants and stuff. So yeah, seems like it's uh, definitely going to work out. The last thing is if you do have any rough edges, you can use a razor blade like this and just that allows a very fine tuning of uh, taking some shavings off. So if you're a little, you know, oblong on one side, if you're really picky, then you can kind of dial it in that way. It also makes it easier where you don't have to do as much sanding later. So I did do that, so I figured I'd share that with you guys.